Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I just wanted to share a few things. Um, bear with me, I got a cold. So, um, but I started looking into a few things. And a few videos ago, I shared this X that I found. Um, and it intrigued me enough to start, you know, looking around and going through Google Earth, which isn't a science, but it may help. And what I found out is that, <clears throat> sorry about that, there was a multitude of X's formations that started falling in a pattern. And what was odd is the way they moved, you know, they weren't in the fields, they were evading houses, you know, they were evading fields, you don't see any X's in the fields and so on and so forth. And we started following these and lo and behold you find more and more like tree structure X's I get it with the shadowing um, you know you could see that that's like shadowing and there's certain things but there were certain ones I was really looking for to point out and uh, every so often we find these like white trees these white tree and it, I, I put it as a marker uh, because I really wasn't sure but anyway when we found out they got down here and I seen the house I said well how are they moving and right over here we found like looks like a man-made X I'm guessing <clears throat> so we came over here and uh, you know we started following them and, and what was weird is we would I would get here and I couldn't find another X so I'd go way out here and I'd find one and I have to work backwards to find them and then when I zoomed out of the screen it actually it was odd because they correlated and, and they weren't far apart and they actually fell in in certain lines like that and then another thing I found is near every like road they stayed a distance away before there was another uh, X or, or certain valleys or certain ways they would cross like a creek per se and it was weird that they didn't cut through the middle here at all using any of the fields it was they took the long way um, and it, 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 it's odd because this is where we've had a lot of our things happen. And uh, there's, you know, more pushpins, obviously. Well, over here, there's a lot, too. This is an area I'm going to have to check out now Now that I've paid attention to this. And, and just the way they fell in, in certain lines and, you know, certain places where they could cross the creeks. There was only a few here. So these might be a good places for, like, uh, you know camera traps or something like that um, but it was intriguing so we would start connecting and connecting and connecting and we ended up with this after a few days uh, which to me is you know that's huge because if this is correct and I can test this this year and go to these locations and, and you know find evidence that's awesome I even uh, was able to map them all the way down to where we had other sightings and other things happen uh, right out through you know Pennsylvania almost the way it would come down you know cross certain places avoid houses um, it was really odd you know you don't find them going down this way and I wasn't finding X's over here it was like they were strategically you know placed but then I got into the real thick forested area and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't keep going. Just couldn't see it. So it's something I wanted to share. I'd like you to test this. I'd like you to go to your area uh, or a known Bigfoot area and, and start looking for those X's. You know, start putting them together. And and that's like, you know, they'd avoid the house, but that's like where they cross the road in. There was X's coming down this ridge. And I mean, a lot of times they're darker. And that's like blatant. So it all started with that one X. And, and really what I want you to do is I want everybody to test this, like I said, in their areas where there's Bigfoot sightings. You know, you're going to have to zoom in really good, get down to nitty gritty, find those X's. And see if you can start getting patterns um, that avoid houses and avoid fields. And, and certain things like that because uh, you know maybe you'll start to come up with something like this and maybe we can actually map this together and say that hey they're building these X structures and that's how they actually uh, 
you know, move because it was odd that I wasn't finding any, uh, you know, in the fields or even over here in all these woods. It was just certain areas that, you know, where it fell, it was like, you know, the way they travel. And see how narrow that is? I wasn't finding them over here or over here. It was like purpose, purposefully, uh, you know, the way they travel. And certain spots like over here, I found it where they would get to the houses, see the X. And I'm like, well, they must cross the road. So then I came over here and I was like, oh, well, yep, there's one, you know, there's a blatant one right there that I even missed. Uh, and it, they, they were almost like the same distances. They weren't super far apart. You know, there was a few spots that were, but I mean, once I got done, I seen this and I was like, wow. And a lot of the time I'd have to work backwards, uh, like, let's say I'd be right here, and I, I couldn't find the next X, so I'd have to go over here and do that X, and lo and behold, once I zoomed back out, those ten push pins aligned perfectly. Uh, so is this a way they travel? I don't know, but I think this is some good insight to my area, my region right now. And uh, test this theory on, on some of your sites, and maybe, you know, this hypothesis can go somewhere. As always, guys, like, sub, share, appreciate your comments, your input, uh, support our channel. Thank you. Have a good one.